Hi, today's book review is called To Forgive by Anthony Thompson with Denise George. And as the name implies, this book is all about forgiveness. So it tells the story of um, a mass shooting that happened on June 17th of 2015 in Charleston, South Carolina, in the hall of a church on a Wednesday night. Um, there was a group of church members who were involved in a Bible study class. Um, it was being led by a woman named Myra, and her husband is the author of this book. Um, so what happened was um, the group met for a Bible study class. It was the first one that Myra was teaching, and it was her last class that she taught. And, um, you know, as they sat down to begin, a white man came in, all the other people in the church uh, group were African American, and this um, young, skinny white man came in and wanted to join them. So they welcomed him into the group and they talked about the Bible. I think it was for like an hour. And then at the end, they stood up and held hands and um, started to pray, and they all closed their eyes. And when they closed their eyes, the uh, white man who, the stranger to the group, um, pulled out his gun and shot everyone. He shot 77 times. He killed nine of the members. Oh, I think there was, I think there was like 14 people in the group because nine were killed and I think five survived. Um, but one of the people who was killed was Myra, the woman leading the Bible study. And her husband wrote this book about how he chose to forgive the shooter. Um, now, I'll just say that the story was hard to read because the um, the shooter, I'm not even going to name him, I don't even want to glorify him by saying his name, but the shooter um, in court said he wanted to make it really clear that he had no remorse, no regret. He um, felt like he had to do it and he still felt like he had to do it. Like nothing made him feel guilty about this at all. He was a racist, a white supremacist and he wanted to start a race war. Um, but what actually wound up happening is, you know, the police found him the night of the shooting or maybe early in the morning and they took him into custody. And two days later, there was a hearing and a lot of the victim's families went, including Anthony Thompson. And when it was his turn to talk, he said that he privately and publicly forgave the shooter. And he got a lot of flack for this because um, people thought it was too soon. He was, he had to have still been hurting. How could he forgive so quickly? How could he forgive such a heinous crime? The shooter didn't deserve to be forgiven. And this book is all about how um, forgiveness in society's eyes is usually based on conditions. You know, if the shooter was sorry, if he, you know, repented, if he had remorse, then maybe he would deserve forgiveness. But because he didn't have any remorse and he didn't feel guilty and he would do it again, um, then he didn't deserve forgiveness. That's society's idea of forgiveness. But this book is about biblical forgiveness. And this was a new concept to me. I had never heard of biblical forgiveness before. Um, so I'm just going to read from the book, just a, a couple of sentences. Uh, to describe what the author describes as biblical forgiveness. Um, unlike society's forgiveness that is packed with myths, biblical forgiveness has no strings attached to it. It is forgiveness without conditions, needing no apology, no compensation for the loss, no face-to-face -face meeting, and no response from the offender. It is simply a victim's unquestioning, unquestioning forgiveness given as a gift of grace to the offender. Even if one-sided, it is complete and absolute, proving far more powerful than a societal forgiveness based on a series of conditions. With biblical forgiveness, victims choose to forgive another person because they themselves have been completely forgiven by God. Their own sinful debt has been paid in full with no conditions, an undeserved grace gift from their Heavenly Father. Um, so basically, this reverend was saying that because he has sinned in his life and been forgiven by God, that he owed it to the shooter to forgive him 
even though his crime was so heinous and horrible and what society would consider unforgivable. Um, so this book really made me think I had never heard of biblical forgiveness before. Um, you know, I have held grudges for far longer than two days for, you know, very minor transgressions. I mean, this man's wife was shot in cold blood and he, in two days, chose to forgive the uh, shooter. And it's pretty remarkable. And the book goes into the other things that happened as a result of the shooting. You know, they did random acts of kindness and um, they planted gardens and made memorials and the whole town kind of came together. And um, this book wasn't very long. It was only about, I think, 170 pages. Yeah, the story was 171 pages. At the end, there's a letter that the author wrote to the shooter, and that's pretty long. Um, definitely interesting to see what he told the shooter. It was pretty much a summary of what the book was about. And um, again, he told him that, you know, he forgave him and that he hoped that he um, would grow closer to God and um, that he would change his life. The shooter was sentenced to um, death, um, I think, multiple times. Um, so when he wrote the letter to the shooter who was in jail, he was just sitting there waiting to be sentenced to death or to be you know, taken to his death. Um, and then the last part of the book, which is, I think, you know, quite a few pages, maybe about 50 or 60 pages, um, there is Bible study questions. And I think even the notes that Myra used um, that one day when she led the Bible study, um, her notes are in here. Um, I'm going to be honest, I just kind of skimmed over that. I didn't really, I didn't really go over it too much. Um, and then there's a few appendixes, appendices um, that have different interesting topics. Um, I would give this book four and a half stars out of five. The reason I'm not giving it five is because I felt like it was a little bit repetitive. He kind of went over biblical forgiveness multiple times in the book. Um, and I didn't feel like when he repeated himself, he was really adding much to it. So I kind of felt like the book was longer than it needed to be. Um, but otherwise it was a really good book. Um, definitely made me think about um, forgiving people for things that they've done. Um, a lot quicker than I have in the past. You know, I think in the future I will uh, let it go. And he also talks in the book about how forgiving somebody actually is a gift to yourself because it lets go of the anger and the hatred and the venom. Um, and if you don't forgive somebody, you're actually holding yourself prisoner, which I've heard that concept before. Um, definitely an interesting read about forgiveness. I would recommend that you pick it up at your library or get it at a bookstore. Again, it's called Called to Forgive by Anthony Thompson. So read it and let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks.